Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm gonna be unboxing the quad lock. Whoa, focus please. The quad lock motorcycle handlebar mount, and I'll be using the universal adapter for the quad lock. So let's get started. I'll start by opening this. I've been looking to get this. Um, for a very long time, I've seen a lot of reviews and they've looked great. So I was like, why not? It's a bit pricey, but so this is what it contains: instruction manual, how to do it. I don't need that. Just check it away. And then the quad lock thing. I want to regret that. I want to need that instruction manual so I can see this is what's going to go on the handlebar. It's got this, depending on the size of the handlebar, which will go underneath, or this one if yours is a bit thicker. Then, you can choose if you want this arm extender, so you put it like that, and the arm extender, like, goes like this. Oh right, it's not even tightening, because I need to tighten it with this screw, with this thing. Uh, or oh, I can just put this on it and keep it snug to the bar. So let's go to the bike and install it. So here's my bike and we'll start with installing it. So I need to unscrew this and see how thick the bar is. I could go to the instruction manual but can't be asked for that, so take this screw out and take this one out. There we go. And now, see if mine is the 25mm. So I'm going to put, be putting mine over here. Let's see. Oh, it looks. Let's see how snug that is. Like that. And then stop. Oh, just realised that it's loose. So this one is too small. The hole is too small. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one, which is the 22 millimeter. It's a bit thicker, so I think this one should work. So let's cut it until putting this one in. So I've put the 25 millimeter. Um, rubber thingy, don't know what it's called and it feels a lot more snug already so let's try and move that like that give it a little tight give it a little tighten I mean That's really tight, which is good. It's and tight. So now I'll be putting this one on and then seeing how it feels and then just putting this one on. So this the phone would just be here. Like so. It'd be like that. But if I put this one, I can have my phone like th up here, like that, like that. Wait, will this work? Ooh, if I want to put it sideways, it does work. But it will be hitting. So I might well, I want to put the little arm extender thing. So remove before flight. Let's tighten this on. Give it a little tighten with your hand. I'll be keeping it up here like that. Put 
putting this one. Oh, careful, don't lose that. And it's meant to be like that. There we go. So I finished installing the quad lock. I ended up going with the long arm just because I thought that for my phone, um, it's gonna look so much better, especially when I'm gonna be using it. I still haven't got the hang of it, putting it on with one hand, but. Uh, uh, there we go. Like that, before it would like touch the sides. Um, so I installed the universal adapter onto my iPhone XR Tech 21 case. Shout out Tech 21, they're banging. Uh, their cases are brilliant. And yeah, I'll the universal adapter. Um, it looks nice. And I think this universal adapter, as I have more phone cases um, and I want to switch them out, what I do is when I when I'm done using the GPS on this on this phone so it looks brilliant like that I'm going to do a test ride and see if it you know if it can hold it um, I'll put this at the end of the video but yeah as you can see it looks brilliant uh, you can do it sideways as well for maps and it's super secure I don't think that's ever going to get off um, but yeah as I was saying what I do is I keep this case so when I'm done with it, I just take it off, put the phone in my pocket, I've got another case, um, open this up, and literally just shove it in there. And so it's all, literally always in there, and I can use it whenever I want, and then got the seat on, bam, off, off we go.